Hey friends and Merry Christmas. Today we are spending Christmas Day in the most magical place on earth. I said before if I couldn't be with family or friends there's only one other place I would rather be on Christmas Day and that's right here at the Magic Kingdom. We're gonna ride some rides, watch the holiday parade, and also have a Christmas dinner at Liberty Tree Tavern. Anywho's, let's go do this. Christmas Day in the Magic Kingdom is one of the busiest days at Walt Disney World and even though it's one of the busiest days I still think it's one of the most magical days. You can definitely see we're gonna be looking at very high crowds and long wait times but there's just something about being here today it just makes it magical like I said. On Christmas Day they do some special things like Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade is actually going to be today. They have a 12 o'clock and a 345 showing and that's something you would have had to pay extra for to go to the very merriest after hours but it's free to all the guests today and they also have the stage show that's actually going to be showing today like the holiday stage show. So we're going to make sure to check out all of those and just like I said enjoy a Christmas day at Magic Kingdom. Here comes Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and Tigger all wearing their holiday scarves. Look at that, isn't that so cute? I love it, I love Eeyore's scarf right here in the back. Look at him just sitting there. He's got the life, Eeyore's got the life. Oh, Tigger though, he's pretty happy. He's got a Christmas tree on his scarf. I did purchase Genie Plus app so that I can set up some lightning lanes because I know that the wait times were going to be a little bit long today. So I was able to grab a uh, lightning lane for Winnie the Pooh, which is one of the rides I've been wanting to ride, and also Big Thunder Mountain. And they're actually right around the 1 to 2 o'clock hour like range. And then we get to come out and watch the parade at 3.35, I think it is. So kind of made it like a perfect little uh, schedule there. Two years ago, I was the first person in Magic Kingdom on Christmas Day. I was here waiting outside of the turnstiles at 2 o'clock in the morning. I will never forget that. It was so magical because the park opened, I think, at like 6 o'clock. So they let guests in around 5.30. Being here at the Magic Kingdom at 5.30 in the morning, everything was still dark. And they had all the Christmas lights on. And it was so, so amazing. I think we're going to make our way over to Fantasyland so we can ride Winnie the Pooh with our Lightning Lane selection. And after that, I think I could pick another one, so hopefully there's some available still. I'm happy that I got a Lightning Lane for Winnie the Pooh. It's a 60 minute wait. And also I'm wearing my Magic Band that does like really cool effects. So we're going to be able to touch in right here. Watch, it's going to light up red and kind of make like a uh, Star Wars sound. But it's actually a Christmas Magic Band. See, isn't that so cool? I've been wanting to ride Winnie the Pooh for a while, so when I seen it like as uh, like one of the available options, I was like, I gotta get it. So I grabbed it, and then also right after this, I have Big Thunder Mountain. So like we have them stacked perfectly, which is something that I'm trying to learn to do. But you have to do it early in the morning, so you have to get up bright and early and set your fast passes for the day. Here comes our honey pot. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> Here we go. I love it. This is one of my favorite rides right here. And it was nice that we got to see them in their Christmas scarves earlier. Ha 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 ha! 
Oh, that was so much fun riding Winnie the Pooh. And now we get to make our way right over to Big Thunder Mountain and ride that right now on the Lightning Lane 2. And honestly, I'm starting to get hungry. I can taste Liberty Tree Tavern. I picked that restaurant because I kind of feel like that's like the most holiday-ish. You know what I mean? You have to have the traditional meats like turkey and, you know, roast beef. And I feel like that's like one of my, you know, go-to holiday restaurants. Now we're coming up on one of the like busiest areas of the park. This like uh, corridor right here in between It's a Small World and Peter Pan is always super busy. And during the holidays, I can only imagine it being like this bad. It is, it's pretty tight over here. We've got the lines for the lightning lanes coming out of the attraction here for Peter Pan. And also the same thing over here because you have the mobile ordering for Pinocchio's Village. So it's a very busy area. It's not that bad though actually. Like I said, I've seen it a lot worse. Speaking of Peter Pan's flight, 95 minute wait. 95 minutes for Peter Pan's flight. And then I think Seven Doors Mine Train is 105. I always feel like Peter Pan's flight is probably the second busiest attraction here at the Magic Kingdom. I think it is far more like busier or actually visited than Space Mountain or Big Thunder Mountain or even the Haunted Mansion. It's because it's an overall great family ride. I'm gonna try to show you guys as much as I can with all of the different wait times and long lines because I'm sure everyone is always curious how busy is it at Magic Kingdom on Christmas Day. So I'll try to show you, even though, like I said, I don't think it's that busy today. The Haunted Mansion is at a 65 minute wait. Now this actually looks a little bit long because the line for Lightning Lane is merging with the standby line. So it just looks bad. I mean, 65 minutes is still a pretty long wait, but I would think like maybe 100 minutes on Christmas day. You know what I mean? We're gonna have to keep moving along though because we have our Lightning Lane for Big Thunder Mountain like right now. I appreciate that they, they plan for it to be busy and they actually have directional arrows here that tell people to walk this way and then walk this way down so they're trying to actually make it less crowded and it actually does work like they were thinking ahead here and like I said we have a lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain but it's only a 45 minute wait Big Thunder Mountain has a lower wait time than <laughs> uh, Haunted Mansion. So I guess, I'm, oh, I feel like Haunted Mansion is a very popular attraction though. But 45 minutes for Big Thunder? I'll do that all day. Now it's 2.32, I just touched at Big Thunder Mountain and I can make another lightning lane selection. And It's a Small World is at 3.15, we can do that. That's just like in 40 minutes. 2.50 for Mad Tea Party. The uh, carpets are 2.50 again. See, uh, they actually have tons of lightning lanes still available. So I'm like, like I said, I'm very shocked. Also, they do offer a lightning lane like viewing area for the Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. I've been trying to get that all day, but it's been sold out. But that's awesome because it actually eats up a lot of uh, other spots. Look, even Peter Pan is actually available. Or Pirates at 325. That's less than an hour away. I do love me some Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And I'm happy that we get to ride it on Christmas Day. It also looks like I'm not the only one that loves Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Look at it, it's very, very busy in here. And because there's so many people, it makes this like corridor down here super hot. Like it is super hot down here. Here comes our train. Let's see which one this is. Oh, it's I Am Fearless. Fancy. And we're gonna be in uh, 602? Uh, nope, 603. I've got a feeling this hat wouldn't make it today, so best remove them. Whoa, boom! Because this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness! Whoa!
<laughs> Woo! And we're coming back. <laughs> oh. I'm fearless is definitely a rocky train. Tosses you back and forth. Woo! I'll tell you what, I love riding Big Thunder Mountain. And have any of you guys ever come up here to Nugget Way? It's actually a great spot to get photos. As we were coming in, I know some people were taking photos uh, of the cars coming by. And I kind of forgot how beautiful it is back here with this backdrop. It is so nice in these geysers. This is a very nice spot to come and just relax. And it's not even busy over here. Oh, it's a rainbow. Look at that. The geyser's making a rainbow. It's a Christmas rainbow. <laughs> that is really magical. I got super excited about the rainbow. Almost as excited as if I saw a double rainbow. <laughs> that was really funny. Now I think we're going to keep on moving along through Adventureland. We're going to have to uh, circle back to Main Street soon so we can watch the uh, parade. But I wouldn't mind actually seeing what the wait times are like over here. Maybe for Pirates of the Caribbean or uh, Aladdin's Magic Carpets. Wow, I am very shocked by the wait times today. Pirates of the Caribbean, 35 minutes. 35 minutes on Christmas Day. Like, that is so low. Seriously, that is absolutely amazing. 35 minutes, like I wouldn't expect that at all. Not today. Of course, one of the more busier attractions is gonna be the Jingle Cruise, and it's actually sitting at a 100 minute wait. But honestly, it's like a 100 minute wait every single day of the week. I haven't rode this ride since the first day it came out because the wait time is always so, so long. Today would have been a great day to ride the Jingle Cruise, but with it being 100 minutes, you have to kind of choose either ride the Jingle Cruise or go watch uh, the parade. And I choose the parade. I love the parade. And honestly, it's going to be the first time that I get to see it during the day. Because when you watch it for like the very merry after hours, it's only at night. So you get to see a daytime Christmas parade. And I think that's really awesome. With that being said, I think we're going to make our way out to Main Street USA so that we can try to find maybe a good spot to watch the parade and also grab a coffee at Starbucks because this is the only Starbucks that's open right now. So I haven't had like my coffee of the day. I usually drink coffee at home, but you know, being Christmas today, kind of wanted a, like a fancy little like nitro cold brew. Oh boy, I think we should have gotten here earlier if we wanted to get a good spot for the parade. People are already holding down a spot and it's not for like another hour. First, we're gonna have to go get a coffee, but look at how crowded it is here. And once we have a coffee, then we can try to scope out a spot. Oh, look at Jesus in the sky on Christmas. It doesn't look that bad here in Starbucks either. I thought it was gonna be a little bit busier. Oh, but you know where the wait is? The wait is after you order. Lots of people waiting for drinks. So either you wait a long line to order or you wait for a long time to get your order. Now we got our coffee and I think it's time to find a spot for the parade. And uh, it only took about like 20 minutes actually. Garbage cans are always my favorite spot to actually stand and watch a parade at because you can set your coffee down and you don't have anyone in front of you and you just get a great view of the castle even. I'll tell you what, it actually got a lot hotter here today. Like before it was nice and cool in the 70s, but the sun is beating down on like this side of the face right here. Kind of blind it, but all worth it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but can anybody guess where or uh, what movie my shirt is from today? It's one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies, and it's a Roosevelt shirt too. But let me know in the comments if you guys know what movie this is, just by all the little symbols on the shirt. I think it's kind of a dead giveaway with the moose cup. Oh, it looks like we have a little pre-parade right now. My favorite thing about this parade is gotta be the music and the smells. I love how all the floats have like a special smell. And honestly, here's a good pro tip. A lot of people like to stand over like in front of the Christmas tree, like and stare or watch the parade straight on. I feel like if you do that, you don't get to smell any of the floats because they actually like spray out the smell or the scents from the sides of them. So if you're looking at it straight on, you're not gonna be able to smell like that delicious gingerbread or peppermint. They all have an amazing smell. 
also it makes it much more pleasant, especially when you're standing in front of a, a trash can. So it's like you're standing in front of a trash can and it smells nice. But I mean, none of the trash cans of the Magic Kingdom actually smell because they're all uh, special Magic Cans. Here is a look at the crowds waiting for the parade. And now this is gonna be the last Christmas parade of 2021. Not until next year we're we gonna be able to see this holiday parade again. And it's got a pretty good turnout. You're gonna get blinded here for a second. But look at all the way up to the castle. We're all clear and it's en route. It's coming down from Frontierland.
see you next year. Well, there you have it. The last uh, Christmas parade until 2022. You know, I don't know why it got me kind of like a little emotional. I'm not gonna lie. Like it was really awesome because you know, seeing like the parks reopen and being here uh, two years ago for the first Christmas when we couldn't have a parade. And this year being the first time a parade is actually going down Main Street USA. And it was so magical. And I'm, I'm happy that I came out and saw the last of this year. The last parade of 2021 actually, because the rest of them all just still cavalcades. So that was very magical. Immediately right after the parade, the Very Merry Memories show start actually going off. And the first one is at 4.35, then 5.50, 6.50, and 9 o'clock. I don't know if we're going to catch the 4.35 one because our Liberty Tree Tavern reservation is at 4.45. And there's actually a pretty good amount of people here already for the first show. So maybe when we get done with dinner, we'll watch the second one. Maybe 5.50, that would be just about the time we're probably finishing up. Now it is time for Christmas dinner, and I'm so excited. We're going to Liberty Tree Tavern. I think we're gonna have to go check in, meet some turkey, some sticky toffee pudding, so many good things. <laughs> and here we are, Liberty Tree Tavern. All you care to enjoy, family style roasted turkey breast, pot roast, carved pork, mashed potatoes, homemade stuffing, green beans, and ooey gooey toffee cake, all the works. I love it. This is like the essential like Christmas, Thanksgiving, like holiday restaurant here at the Magic Kingdom. And I'm lucky we even got a reservation today. This sit down location is $39 per adult and I think $21 for children and it includes your drinks unless you want like beer or uh, any specialty drinks because they do have like a specialty house made like sangria. And they also have Sam Adams, Bud Light and a lot of other alcoholic beverages that they serve here at the Magic Kingdom. But all included $39 you get drinks, food, dessert, all of it. The works. <laughs> I think our table should be ready any second now, but I just love everything in here. It's so beautiful. That's me. <laughs> now we officially have made it to our table, and I'm so excited because we don't have to order anything. Everything just comes out to us, but I do need to get myself a drink, and I think they have a uh, Blue Point uh, toasted lager. They either have that, a Bud Light, or Sam Adams, so I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll get a fancy drink, you know, for the Christmas season. They do have a Spirit of 76 Cider Shandy, which is a Sam Adams lager topped with Angry Orchard. And that's kind of fancy, a little Spirit of 76. And like I said, they have mimosas, the Liberty Sangria, a lot of good, a lot of good drinks there. There is a couple of like secret menu items that you can get other than what comes with the skillet. They have french fries with gravy, which is one of my favorite things to get here. And it's not on the menu, you actually have to ask for it. So if you do plan on coming to the Liberty Tree Tavern, definitely ask for some french fries and gravy because you will love it. I decided to keep it classy and I went with the good old Bud Light. I'm gonna try to pour this without actually getting a lot of head there. Let's see if we can do it in one shot without tilting the glass. And here it is. Take a look at this masterpiece. We've got the roasted pork with the mushroom gravy, pot roast with carrots and gravy on there, the stuffing, the green beans, the mashed potatoes, the turkey, and then a whole entire turkey or gravy boat, a turkey gravy boat, and the french fries like I talked about. And what you gotta do is kinda like use it as like a magic genie lamp and just give it a little pour there. Oh, that is the way. Seriously though, doesn't that just look so amazing? Oh, I do love me some gravy fries. French fries first. <laughs> now we're gonna have to grab a little turkey right here. Grab some turkey. Then we're gonna grab some scoopsy potato. Mix it with the turkey. And then add a little stuffing right on top of there. And a little bit of everything in one bite. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so, so good. Now we're gonna grab some of the pot roast. There we go, get some of the carrots on there. I love carrots. I do, carrots are one of my favorite vegetables. And look at that, it just looks so good. Much too good. <laughs> now we gotta turn the plate over and do a pork check. The pork is so, so good here too. Oh, look at that. 
And if you don't want uh, mushrooms, you can ask for no mushrooms on it because I know a lot of people don't like mushrooms. I don't know why I keep on stabbing my pork with my knife like this, but yeah, just so you know. You know, it's important to do a pork check. Now I think we need to share the gravy with the mashed potatoes and the stuffing. There we go. I love the gravy here. It is so good. Oh, probably my favorite thing about eating at Liberty Tree is probably this gravy. There's just something about it. Since I'm not going to be able to bring like a doggy back home for Gracie because I can't walk around the Magic Kingdom with, you know, turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy. I don't know if it, it'll be okay by the time I get home. Uh, we're going to have to stop and get gravy some Christmas din din because it's like a tradition, you know. If I have a good meal, she should have some turkey too. So uh, we'll see what's open. Maybe uh, the Golden Corral again because last time the Golden Corral was open and I went there I think on Thanksgiving. And I just went in and carved, like they have a whole carving station. And I just got a little turkey for Gracie and had her like a little Thanksgiving dinner. So that'll be fun. We'll do that later on though. Also, I want to point out that each of the rooms are kind of themed uh, a little bit differently. Like they have a George Washington room. They have a Benjamin Franklin room. And I think this is the Betty Ross room. And I've never eaten up here before, but I like it. It's all like very nice. Oh yeah, it is Betty Ross. Because I can see pictures right there. Honestly, I couldn't have another bite of turkey or pot roast. I had to save room for the main event, the ooey gooey toffee cake. And also, I think I'm gonna get a coffee. A coffee with toffee cake sounds like a great idea. Look at that though. Watch, we're gonna actually cut down the side here and get a little bit of everything. Oh, this is such a good dessert right here. Oh, <laughs> ooey gooey toffee cake for the win. <laughs> Wow, so good. <laughs> and believe it or not, this dessert gets better as the ice cream melts because then it goes all ooey gooey on top of the, the cake down below. So sometimes I just like letting it sit and just like getting all of that vanilla like melted ice cream down here. Oh, it's amazing. Perfect, and now we got ourselves a coffee to take to go. So it's like a bonus, because this is still included. You get all uh, the beverages you want. So uh, I got a coffee to go, and it kind of saved me a couple bucks. You know what I mean? Since uh, maybe I would have bought a coffee when I left here, just so I can have a little pick-me-up. But now I get to have it with my toffee cake. Well, that was delicious. And like I said, now I got a coffee. Tastes really good. Oh yeah. Good Joffreys, and I think we're gonna head back out and see if we can catch the stage show. I don't know what time uh, the next show is. We might have missed the 550 one because I think it's six o'clock now. It got dark out super fast. Coffee in hand, and I'm so happy I have a coffee because the worst part about eating at Liberty Tree Tavern is coming out and actually walking around the park when you're so full. And it'll do it to you, it feeds you good there. Well, it looks like the next stage show is at 6.50, so we got a couple minutes and we might as well just stay here because it's kind of up close to the stage. And look at the castle's all wrapped up now. The stage show, uh, Mickey and Minnie's Very Merry Memories, is also something that is, uh, you had to pay for to actually see during the very merriest after hours, but tonight it's free. And I think it's been like that for the past like uh, three or four days. I know they switch over where they start including some of those things for the whole entire holiday season, and I'm excited to see it tonight. Last year during Christmas, I remember coming here, and I was so excited because they did the castle projections, and during the projections, they did like a firework burst, and it was a big deal because fireworks weren't back yet, and they kept these uh, projections this year, so this will actually change in, let me see, oh, just about two minutes and uh, I'll try to catch it like transition over but this right here is a Christmas tree right in the center underneath the 50th there isn't that so pretty oh I think it's happening I can hear the jingle sound oh yep pretty look at that <laughs>
It's so nice to see Santa goofy and then Frosty like Donald Duck like, like Donald Duck dressed up as Frosty the Snowman. So so good. But now I think we're gonna start making our way out of here. Making our way down Main Street USA. Oh it looks like they're snoping on Main Street too. Look at that. <laughs> it's a little bit busy over here though. The fireworks show is not for another hour and a half I think. I don't think we can uh, navigate out of here actually. What a great way to end Christmas. What a great way to end the year with a little snow on Main Street USA, staring at the Christmas tree. Oh, I love it. This has been a great Christmas. I'm so happy that I was able to be here today. Honestly, it literally is just so amazing. And I went back and looked, and this is now four years, five years, that I have been uh, at the Magic Kingdom on Christmas Day. And that just makes me feel like so fantastic. There it is, one last look at the Christmas tree on Christmas Day. Beautiful, isn't she? And I like seeing all the snow around it right now. Makes it extra special. 
And with that, I think we are done here today. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and I hope that you got to spend time with family and you had great Christmas dinner and you got to open up presents and do all the amazing things. Honestly, I wish the best for you guys. I'm so excited. Now we're out of Christmas and we're gonna start looking towards the new year, 2022 coming up. And it's just great. You know, I'm truly blessed to be able to come here uh, if I weren't with like my family or my friends. And I can only imagine like if I wasn't being able to come to like Disney without like having my family and friends, I think I'd be like really sad. This is like my saving grace. You know what I mean? Being alone during the holidays and being able to come to Disney is like seriously such a saving grace. Cause that would be really sad if not. But I hope all of you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I can't wait to see my mom and sister. They're coming down in just like about a week and we're gonna celebrate Christmas together then. And uh, anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Merry Christmas, Gracie. We got turkey. You want turkey? <laughs> Who's a good girl? You're a good girl? Is that good? Some turkey, carrots, some sweet potatoes. Yum, 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 yum. Merry Christmas. Ah, ha, ha, ha.